The story of Princess Luna has been among the fandom's biggest headcanon sources from the very beginning. A sad story of a younger sister who went mad with jealousy and tried to plunge Equestria into eternal night. An older sister who banished her to the moon for a whopping 1,000 years. Some fans think that Celestia is a liar. History is written by the winners. Some are wondering if there was more to the disagreement. Many are upset that Luna's dream-watching ability, brought up in Sleepless in Ponyville, makes it seem like ponies sleeping through her night shouldn't have been a big deal. I think that Luna's crisis was an existential one. It was the realization that she is ultimately useless. Ponies are meant to relish in their destinies. A happy pony will discover their destiny at a young age and work to fulfill their place in society with satisfaction. But is every pony necessary? Are their destinies all helpful or even unique? In Magical Mystery Cure, we saw that Ponyville needs a competent weather pony. That without Pinkie Pie, the town goes to shit. That only one pony can truly manage the apple farm. That animals will only respond to Fluttershy. But you know, the absence of rarity didn't cause a citywide fashion disaster. And how would things be without Twilight? Probably the way they were before she arrived. The only significant loss is that winter wrap-up will still be late every year. I mean, look at me. I've got an analysis cutie mark, and I make videos about MLP on the internet. What I contribute to society is great, but it isn't necessary by any means. Even though I do something unique that only I can do, my doing so is not necessary. And there are plenty of people doing necessary jobs that anyone could do. My point is this. When Princess Luna was banished to the moon, Equestria was just fine. Celestia controlled both the sun and the moon. Luna was completely forgotten about. No one cared. This is Luna's existential crisis. She spent her life doing a thankless job that she wasn't even needed for, and instead of enjoying herself, she grew bitter and rebelled. She tried to leave her mark and bend the world to her will, and when she wouldn't listen to reason, she was imprisoned. Luna's dreamwalking ability poses some interesting questions, though. While she was on the moon, was there some pony else to fill this role? Did one or more dreamwalking ponies emerge over the years? Years, or did Equestria suffer under their crippling nightmares without even realizing it? Was Luna blind to her own usefulness and necessity? These days, a lot of us wonder what we would do without the internet. Will the next generation of Equestria wonder how old generations made it through life without the guidance of Equestria's Batman? And while we're on this train of thought, will Twilight come to fulfill a similar role and bring Equestria into a quad princess golden age? I need to write a fanfic, don't I? <laughs>